I love this picture. That was when we were, um, we had gotten out of like summer camp that day and we were picking up two cats for my dad. He was getting two cats with him and my stepmom. And I love my face in this picture. Like I wish my nose still looked like that. I wish my skin was still that clear. I wish, I like that my ears have folded back and my jaw's gotten sharp, but I wish that my nose still looked like that. When I was growing up really young, I just always felt like I, I didn't necessarily feel like I'm a girl in a boy's body, but I felt like I want to do the things that all the other girls get to do and I'm not allowed to and I don't understand what's wrong with me that makes me not allowed to do what they can do. I would never go out and buy something when I wore boys clothes at all. That was really just, my family would buy me clothes, I would just wear whatever, I didn't really care. And then when I started buying girls clothes I just thought it was fun, it was stuff that I actually liked and I could pick what I wanted to wear and what I wanted to see myself in. I love this dress and I've never worn it. It's something I wanted to say for something special, but can't think of anything to wear it to. Not a specific date or anything, but just I remember um, as early as elementary school just looking at things being like, oh, I'd like to wear that, or that's really pretty, I like that. And just even shopping for boys' clothes, I was just always, I would always look at to the other side of the store where the girls' clothes were. I'm like, but those are just so much prettier. Those are more fun. There's more colors. There's more options. There's more patterns. There's more materials. And I would just always think that that's more interesting. To me, transgender is when you have the brain of the opposite gender that is, you have the body of one gender and then you have the brain of another gender stuck all together. And as you start growing up and your hormones start changing, I just feel like everything starts mixing in the wrong way and you just, it just confuses you. And I think transgender is a very emotional thing, but I think it's also a very physical, visual thing. And I think that's the whole problem of it. A lot of people don't understand that it is a very visual problem. That's the whole issue. You want to make the outside mirror the inside. And so I think that's when you're growing up, you get a little bit confused. And I think there's always these little, um, these little instances when you're little that you can go back and look on and when you get older it kind of connects like a piece of a puzzle all these little things that you used to feel that way or used to do this or used to do that when you grow up they all kind of fit together like a puzzle and it makes more sense but I don't feel like it's one thing that you can just wake up one day and say this is transgender I think it's a long period of time and I think it should take a few years for you to realize that I don't think it's an overnight situation my close friends were just glad you can be yourself you know that's amazing good for you People that didn't necessarily like me would just take something negative and just run with it. So it was mixed feelings for everybody. Um, and then I had challenges with the teachers and then some other students that just didn't like it. And then even parents would complain about having their children being around me and that they didn't think that that was appropriate. During my senior year of high school, I was told that I'm not allowed to use the women's restroom and I'm not allowed to use the men's restroom. That if I have to go to the bathroom, I'm to report to the nurse's office, which is all the way at the front of the school, and there is a single stall in the nurse's bathroom. So every time that I would even try to go to the nurse's bathroom, which wasn't that much because I, it was so far away from my classrooms, I would either have to fight a kid that was in a wheelchair in line to go to the bathroom next, or the nurse, who was so rude, would tell me to go use the women's and men's bathroom in the hallway like the other students, because she had no idea that I was forbidden to go to those restrooms. It literally took me 30 minutes one time just to go to the bathroom. Number seven, Dusty Smith. I think the positive experiences outweighed the whole year. And just the teachers in general this year were wonderful. They were great teachers. They called me by the right pronouns and what I wanted to be called by. And they treated me just like a normal student for the most part. And then just the students in general. I made so many friends this year that just were so proud of me and so happy. And I was able to make them realize that they had stuff going on in their life that they were going to be more open to and things like that. And I just thought that, that was a wonderful experience watching people become more of an open person because of something that I had done. Awesome. <laughs>